managed to City 3, RB Leipzig 2. It was a great comeback in the second half. First half, I thought RB Leipzig were the better team. Um, I thought a pen do for them played really well, and I thought Chavi Simmons played really well. But in the second half, I thought we played pretty well. It still wasn't at our best, but it's good that we didn't play at our best, but still managed to find a way to come back from two goals down. And I thought Ake made a difference, Alvarez made a difference, and Doku made a difference. And I think Grealish was poor tonight, and I thought Diaz was poor. Um, for both goals, we were really sloppy. It was poor from Akanji for the first one, and it was poor from Diaz and Gavardio for the second one. Um, I think, hopefully this is a result that picks us up to go on a bit of a run, because I feel like, even though the game wasn't that important because we were already qualified, and all we needed was a draw to get the top spot, I feel like we needed this win to get the winning morale going and the winning momentum going. So, that's why I'm happy that we got the win. And it's another great comeback for City. You can never write City off when we're losing at home because at home we always seem to find a way to get something out of the game and more often we win the games at home. My man in the match was Phil Foden, but I thought Rico Lewis was a second player that could have got it. And um, I thought Haaland worked really hard tonight. I feel like one of the things that Haaland um, doesn't get the credit for is how he is off the ball. Because I feel like he works really hard and he, and he presses pretty well. But it's just that he doesn't get the recognition because... He's not a player who does that all the time, like Jesus and something or something like that. Um, I thought Ortega did did all right. I think there was one point where he made a pretty good save when it was two two, which could have gave them the lead, but it was a good save. And I think people need to start credit in Nathan Aki more as well because. I think if that performance was from Diaz, Givardio, Stones or any of our other defenders, they'd get loads of credit. But because it's Ake and he's a player that goes under the radar because he came from Bournemouth, um, he just doesn't get the credit. And I think he's probably one of the most underrated players in the world at the moment. I'll go through the goals now for City. Um... It was a great ball through from Foden to Haaland for the first one. Then the second one was a great finish by Foden into the bottom corner. And uh, for the fourth one, it was... Um, I mean, the third one, sorry. It was a good finish by Alvarez as well. I think we've got to play Grealish in the midfield more because he just didn't look right tonight on the wing. And I think... If you play him centrally, then you could get the best out of him. But out wide, he struggles, I think. And we've got the Tottenham game on Sunday, which will be another massive game. We've got to get the three points because it's two draws in a row that we've had in the league. So we've got to try and get back to a winning run in the league as well. Um... If you're wondering why I'm quite red in the face, because I'm not too well at the moment, but that's why I didn't go to school today. And um, I've got an appointment tomorrow, so I'm not going tomorrow either. So I'll be back on the Thursday for that. So um, I'll do a reaction to the United Galatasaray game tomorrow, because I don't think there's any other important games on really tomorrow that's that interesting. And in the Europa League, I don't really know, because... There never seems to be that good games on, so I might not do a reaction for those games. Um, but I'll see you guys for another video soon.